Y'all, I am sitting here parked right now in the last bit of land of Grand Dunes that's going to be developed. So the other a couple days ago, I got off the phone with a lady who is uh, doing commission for this place. These townhomes are going to start out at 600000 Obviously, that's way above my budget. So I'm thinking, okay, if us locals get together and pull our money together um, and get do the legal way, obviously, if you put more, you're going to get back more. We can Airbnb this bitch. Like, I'm serious, y'all. Majority of the homeowners here are Northeast New England money or retirement. I mean, we just, us locals can't compete. Like, how many locals actually own real estate? It's very few. Most of us are still renting. Thank God these apartments have come down to only needing one 1 1.5 proof of rent because most of these apartments went three times the rent and it's like, dude, we're not making that. Most of us in the service industry are making between 30 and 50,000 and we are working multiple jobs and we have a long off season. My goal is obviously not to live here. I want homestead, but I was like, okay, well there's still people Airbnb and who knows, maybe we will buy it and uh, we can turn around and flip it. I don't know. Um, something to think about. We can we can always put it on the market and still Airbnb it, have renters in. Um, so if anybody wants to get with me and like make this shit happen, like if I will do, obviously, you know, making between thirty and fifty thousand, I'm not gonna be able to bring much, but I can bring something. I can. I've stayed in Airbnbs. I know what it's like to be in an Airbnb. I can you know, post on Airbnb, I can clean it because I'm anal about cleaning and I don't like chemicals. Um, my apartment is right across the street, so I can come in here and check, you know, I work crazy hours, especially night shifts. So if something is wrong with the Airbnb, obviously I'm already going to be up for night shift if they forget their key, even though I prefer to have keyless locks, but if for whatever reason they malfunction and they're going out to the bar at like 2, 3 AM and they're like, Oh my God, I can't get in. I got you. I'm right across the fucking street. So um, it's going to take a village. Uh, I like being Miss Independent. I don't like asking people for help, but I don't think this is not asking for help. This is, hey, let's put our money together. Let's be real estate investors. Um, so do I have anybody who wants to do this with me? Because obviously I love the Grand Dunes area. I just can't afford to be in it. Well, I mean, I can. My apartment complex. Uh, I only need 1.5 times the rent versus three. Um, yeah. And the Marriott Resort is right there. Uh, the Grand Dunes Golfing's are right there. So this is definitely gonna be a popular spot because there is a, um, what do you call it, convention? There's a lot of conventions there at the Marriott um, and especially groups. Um, I, I know they have like dance stuff over here, golf stuff, uh, casino stuff. So people, especially in big groups, they're gonna wanna Airbnb. So if y'all wanna do it, like let me know. I know what it's like from being an Airbnb stayer. I've never been an Airbnb host, but I know what I like. I like there to be a washer and dryer. I like multiple sheets, especially like if it's Shark Week and you're, you know, or, you know, Shark Week ladies, you feel me? Only a female will get that. Um, yeah, I, I think we could do some awesome stuff. Now, it is only going to get worse before it gets better. I eventually see the market crashing sometime, uh, so I don't know. The thing is to buy low, sell high. So right now it would suck if we bought high and then the market turned and you know, so there's that too. So if you wanna do it, I'm in. Uh, I don't really see myself being a real estate agent. Uh, I see myself being an assistant. I see myself being an Airbnb and host. Definitely see myself as a real estate investor, uh, just, I'm like, how do these people do it? How do people afford to do this? So as I'm learning with Uber ASU online, like I'm learning a lot. Like I love learning about finance. Like it's starting to click and I'm like, I'm like, how do people afford this? How are they writing off their vehicles? Like I'm really learning. So I may not make a whole lot from Uber, but I make something and I do eat a lot of three, $4 trips. Now I don't mind three, $4 trips if they're nearby, but sometimes I got to travel 20 miles to them. So I get a lot of small trips to get that free Uber ASU online schooling. And let me tell you, if I had to pay for finance classes, I would be SOL. So I will eat those three, five minute trips. I get a lot of heat from my Uber drivers. Why are you doing that? You're making it worse for everybody else. Oh, cause college is expensive. Yeah, I don't, I don't purposely do them. Sometimes I just have to. All right, now I'm gonna flip the camera around uh, so you can see what it looks like. I'm guessing they're gonna have the model home there or over there. <laughs> 